Welcome to Advanced Python Programming. In this video, we are going to discuss about closure, which is nothing but we already discussed about nested function. In nested function, we are using outer and inner function. So in this example, our inner function is going to be accept the variable of outer function. Even outer function is completely closed. This concept is called as a closure. So this concept we are going to see with some example to understand better. For this example, I just created one outer function and pausing the argument as a x and a just printing the value of our x and its memory address here and written in the value into the inner function. Inner function is nothing but it's just going to be creator inner of outer function and uh, the y variable we are using as argument y here. This is going to be add the x and y values and written as a final output. This is the function we just derived. Let's see some output and then we can go with some concept. So I just create one variable outer variable and I just calling outer function and the pass in as a value of x and we'll see the output now. So value of x is a 10 and memory address pointer with the 7448 and the outer function is a kind of function and the outer variable is a refer based on your outer function which means outer function is going to be run and return the output with the inner function this inner function is going to be run for you so there is two functions involved here outer functions are just outer function argument and in outer variable is pointed with the inner function argument now let's interact with the inner function. So I'm going to create one more variable, inner variable, which is going to point with the outer variable because already we just noted outer variable also kind of function. So I'm passing 20. This value is going to be populated with y variable. So already we just passing 10 for the x variable and the y is at 20. So z is going to be written back x plus y, which means 10 plus 20 is just going to be written back as the output. Let's run and see the output for this inner variable. So you can see this inner variable is going to be run in the, for you in the back end. Inner function is going to be called it here. Line number 16, it just provide inner function as a 30. Inner variable value also same because that's the written output for us. So inner variable and inner function. Line number 16 and line number 27 is the same values we are getting it and return output is a kind of integer because it's a number numeric value we are getting the type as a class integer previous outer variable we are getting as a function but uh, inner variable output we are getting as a integer data type now let's see the internal outcomes so how we can see this we can use free variable free variable is nothing but what all the variable we are going to pass internally from the outer function that variable we are calling as a free variable in this example x is a free variable so if you want to get that information, you can use this module to get that proper information. So outer variable we are using as a main function. Already we just noted here. So internal local just going to be called with inner function. So underscore code dot co variable this property attribute is going to be written the output for us. You can see free variable as a x because we just pointed here. This is we are getting back. And if you want to more detail with the closure references, you can use outer variable dot closure. So this attribute will be written back with some cell elements. Cell element is going to be referred with some addresses, memory addresses. This memory address is nothing but our memory of x value because already we just noted x is a free variable. So closure also pointing with free variable references only. So 7448 is a memory of x and the value of 10. The same we are seeing here. The same variable. This is comes with the lower case. Here it's just split with uppercase. That's the differences. If you want to deep, uh, deep dive and see the output in proper, you can use this. So closure of 0 and cell content. This attribute is going to be written back in the proper output. So closer, already we just noted some memory address. Closer input the value is a 10. So cell values are 10. We can extract from here. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please provide your valuable feedbacks and comments.